what's up guys so today's video is going to be a couple of different things um so first i'm going to show you guys a 360 of the new louis vuitton speedy 20 um i'm going to do a size comparison compared to some of my other louis vuitton bags uh, then at the end, I'm going to do some mod shots. So I'll show you guys how this bag fits on with its original strap that it comes with. And then I'm going to try out some other straps also. So I'll show you guys the straps that I want to mess around with. Um, and then lastly, I'm going to show you guys what fits inside this bag. So we have a lot to show you guys and go over. So first, we're just going to jump in to the 360 of the bag um i do have it filled already so i will show you guys next uh what fits inside but look how cute and perfect this bag is i couldn't even wait to show you guys like i don't even have my nails done nothing i just got the bag two days ago and i think it's just the perfect size um i've always loved the speedy nano but um that i tried it and it was literally just way too small. So I feel like this is the perfect size. And I love like the game changer on this compared to other speedies. As you can see on my speedy 25, the zippers end right on the side of the bag. Where these zippers, instead of ending right here, they pull down on the side just a little bit on either side so it's just so much easier to open and get into to look you know to find what you're looking for so i love it um the handles are still super pale it is a brand new bag i really cannot wait to i can't wait for it to patina and get its honey look to it like i really like the darker look i really like it honestly like this color but yeah guys i think it's super cute i'm still on the fence about this strap um it is really comfortable um but i am definitely i love that it has the removable strap um the nano the straps you could not take them off so these straps are completely removable um, and that's another thing that people are really loving about this. The Nano, you didn't always want to wear it as a crossbody. So I didn't love that the strap was permanently attached to the bag. I know some people who actually cut theirs off um, just to be able to get this look. But it's super cute. You have the piping. The glazing is so pretty. And it does also come with a lock and a key, so you can lock the bag up through there. So, I don't know. This is super cute, guys. You guys can see kind of how big it is in my hand. So, we'll go ahead and do the size comparison. So, this is the Speedy 20 compared to an Alma BB. So it's pretty comparable. And then this is it compared to a Speedy 25. So I don't know. I feel like the size is so off. Like when I look, I like the 25 was the smallest size before the Nano. And I always felt like this was like kind of small. And it was like the perfect size. But now looking at it next to the 20, like it, this feels like a 30 now. <laughs> but if you guys could kind of see. Move them back just a little. So I love them both so much. Um, another thing I wanted to point out to you guys is that on um, like older speedies, the hardware is a mat, right? And the strap that comes with it is, you know, has that shiny look to it. So I've seen so many people complain about that just because 
it's not something you can really tell but obviously you know if you're into bags and stuff you notice that so i like now that they're doing the shiny hardware just all the way through um even though i really do like the matte hardware it just is nicer for it to all match so that's another thing i wanted to point out um but now i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the straps that i'm gonna be testing so i am gonna be testing this you know original speedy b strap and then i'll go ahead and show you guys it on at the end of the video i'll show you how everything fits with the original strap and then all the ones that i'm messing around with but here's this this is definitely cute um, a lot more I have to be careful with if it does rain or snow. So I do like the whole cloth, you know, strap deal. But um, this is definitely an option. That looks fine to me. Then another strap that I want to test out is the Matisse strap. So this is that one. I believe that Louis Vuitton updated their strap that now it's five holes. Um, I think I have the older version that has the seven holes, but here's this one. Also super cute. I definitely love this. Also. And then an other strap that I wanted to test out was the multi accessories strap. So this strap comes with this bag. And then I want to test out this strap. The army green is the one that I have. This comes in a couple different colors. I think there's like a black and a pink also. Um, but that comes with this set right here. I did that backwards and so all of these straps that I just tried would um, have that adjustable feature so this is adjustable this one's adjustable and this one is adjustable. So, you know, if you're plus size or you have a bigger chest, um, you're tall, you know, you might need an adjustable strap where this one is really more of just a shoulder strap. I think that would be my only con with this bag. Um, but some girls can definitely get away with wearing this as um, a crossbody. And I've also seen girls um, get an extender from Amazon. But um, when I was watching those videos, I also thought, what if you hooked this strap on like this instead of each side? Because that takes away some length. Um, I saw some people, or I was thinking when I was watching, you can kind of maybe strap it on like that. Um, I would just be curious of how it would lay. But I think um, you would get a better chance like doing crossbody if you hooked it here. Um, kind of like how you would with an Alma. But I will definitely try that at the end. So let me just show you guys the Army Green strap really quick. Which I definitely know I'm going to love this so much. That already looks so, so cute. I'm obsessed with this Army Green um, especially for the fall and winter and everything. This is going to be perfect. Beautiful. And now let me just go ahead and show you guys what fits in this little bag. So I also have a couple different things on the side over here. Um, I have an extra card holder to show you guys. I have the Recto Verso. 
um, a small zippy wallet and a large zippy wallet. I have a mini pochette. This is from the By the Pool collection. I also have a cosmetic pouch um, just so we can kind of like test and I can show you guys how different things fit in here. So normally what I carry on me, let me put this down just a little bit. So normally, I always have my phone. I'm recording on my phone, so I just have a phone case in here. But um, you guys can kind of see. I have um, a catch-all. This is a toiletry 15. Um, I have my inhaler. I have my car keys, which is in um, the key pouch. Um, I have a card holder. And then my little like portable ring light. And that's really all I carry with me. And then, you know, all my like face essentials, makeup, chapstick, gum, stuff like that's in here. Um, and then this bag also does come with the lock and key, like I mentioned earlier, which I just have back here. Um, I actually, I put this. I put it here or do I want to put it here okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hang it from here that looks cute all right so phone case inhaler little clip on this thing is so cool guys I got this at Ulta has three different settings. It has a mirror right here and has like little groupies in here. So yeah, this was from Ulta for $10. I'll see if I can find down the website and link it down below. Um, then I have my little card holder here. This literally has space for so many card holders. I actually really, really love this little thing. Then I have my keys, my AirPods, and then my toiletry 15. And then I just have all the little things in here, gum, chapstick, red lip is my go-to. So that's in there, an extra hair tie, tie to go, and I still have space for more up here, like a good amount of space, which I would put my charger in. I brought this so I could go ahead and put that in there. Um, so yeah, this is what the inside of the bag looks like. You guys can see how much more like the bag opens with that zipper situation. Um, and then it has just a little pocket back here. There's no type of branding or anything like that in here. Um, that's on the side of the bag, but I love it. It's such a good size. So, um, we're going to go ahead and try a large zippy. So this guys isn't going to fit if you're someone who likes a big wallet or honestly, okay, look, it'll fit, but who's going to be struggling like this just to be using a big wallet, you know? So like you could definitely get it in here, but once you have all your other stuff in here, it's going to be really hard to get this in and out. So let me take that out. And you could potentially ruin the bag. I don't even know why I just jammed that in there like that. Oh. oh my goodness. Yeah. No big wallets in this little guy. So, you would have to use a small wallet. Um, so, you could use a zippy. Or if you're someone who just likes a card holder, even better, you'll get more room. Or even something like this, where you could kind of attach your keys. Um, so I'll show you guys how each would fit. The card, the zippy. You could even put the little card holder over here. No, you could not. Card holder would not fit in this pocket. See? 
Okay. So obviously all that would fit. Now, um, if a toilet tree 15 is going to fit, then a mini pochette is going to fit. But I'll also show you guys that. Um, and then I think I tried the cosmetic pouch and I believe it fit in there okay. Um, a catch-all is not necessarily something I would constantly take in and out. So if you wanted to put this in there open, I think you could do that. And then layer the stuff in the front, you know? So you could just get to the stuff back here. So let's just say we did that, right? We could even put the AirPods in there then. And then the inhaler, right? And then car key. It's so hard to like show you guys what I'm doing. See how everything's fitting in there still? So, boom. So you can kind of do like that. Um, I think that's everything. Let's see if you took all this out, right? And you wanted to do a cosmetic pouch and like a mini pochette. Like, let's say you keep all your cars and money and keys in one of these, right? Let's say you have your card holder and your keys. So you wouldn't need this. Say you just carry some cards, money, boom, mini pochette, cosmetic pouch, and a phone. Look at that. Perfect. And even if you did, I'm going to zip the cosmetic pouch. You could still do that and have space in here. So, yeah, this little bag definitely packs a punch. You could definitely even fit more stuff up here. Like, let's say you had some sunglasses. I'm going to grab some sunglasses. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So, I have my sunglasses right here. Look how gorgeous these are. Um, I would not say a whole case uh, would fit in here. But the silk pouch is perfect. And you can literally throw it right there. You have your phone. Everything is in there. And it's just perfect. Um, now, also, last thing I'm going to show you guys one more setup. Um, if you're someone who doesn't use organizers at all, um, and you're kind of someone who just throws everything in here, you're going to have even more space. Um, so, let's say you're one of those people. So, you would have your car key let's say you have a smaller wallet little ring light right can you guys see and then don't need that don't need that let's just say you throw all your stuff in there so Inhaler, phone charger, AirPods, let's say use lipstick, chapstick, mascara, gum, and tied to go stick. Look how much even more space you would have if you're someone who kind of just throws everything in you'd have even more space. I'm just someone who really likes to use organizers, but look, if you're just kind of like a toss and go person, because this is a small bag, so you know, you kind of can get away with that. Your golden sunglasses, phone, and there's literally so much space still. Hold on. So there you go. I hope I did enough scenarios that you guys could kind of see if this bag would work for you. Honestly, even without um, a full-size wallet fitting, I definitely still love this bag so much. I think you could fit so much in it, and it's a great everyday bag. So 
hope you guys enjoyed i'm gonna go ahead um set the camera back and show you guys some mod shots um and show you how this little cutie fits with all the different straps and yes it's a winner it's a winner all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and do the mod shots real quick of how the speedy 20 fits so i'll go ahead and start with the strap that it comes with and we'll test it the both ways i'm gonna do it this way so that the louis vuitton faces down see So this is how it looks just on the shoulder. Very cute. I think it sits at the perfect spot. And this is how it's going to look crossbody. So I am 5'9 for reference. So if you're a little bit shorter, I've seen some girls on here where it sits at a good spot. This is a little bit high for me. So now I'm going to go ahead and move it here, like I was telling you guys, that I thought would be smart. So, if you do it like that, like how an Alma, um, I kind of feel like it's the same. So there's that strap. All right, guys, so now we are going to be trying out the army green strap from the multi accessories. And this one is adjustable. So if you are taller, have a bigger chest, I think this is going to work out great. So this is how this one looks. I really love it just with this extra little pouch here too. And then this would be it on the shoulder. So I think that is adorable. Mine's on the longest strap. So if you shortened it a bit too, you kind of do like that. Super cute. So then we're gonna try um, uh, the Speedy Bandolier strap that came with my Speedy 25. Again, this one is adjustable. So I think this is a great option if that um, the original strap that comes with it isn't going to work as a crossbody, you can kind of mix and match. Alright, and then lastly, we are going to be trying out this strap, which came with my Matisse. Alright, so... This is how this strap looks. I also really like this. I think I'm going to go with this option. Um, I did really like this too, but it's winter here right now. Snow and rain is very common, so I don't want to have to worry about this strap. So the monogram strap is going to be perfect for me. I really like how that is. I love the length. I have it on the second to last Um notch i have the older strap that has seven holes i think they have five holes now but um i love this this is perfect and then like that and then of course guys you know you can just carry it without any straps now that 
the straps are removable um but yeah guys i hope this review was helpful for you guys i really love this bag i cannot wait for it to get um a darker patina on it um this is definitely going to be staying in my collection for a while i think it's just perfect so yes i'll see you guys in the next video